big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets on this episode we talk about one percent of patch meanings we talk about the patches you need to stay away from and what's acceptable in the culture and we get into it on this episode a demon's row tv and oh yeah we ghosting baby Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to break down patches. We never really went through a list of different type of patches. There's all kind of diamond patches. So I really want to break it down for people that are new to the culture. I've seen people throw on things with diamonds and they're confused on what's acceptable and what's not. So we're going to break that down. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demon's Row community. One of my ghosts. Big shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Hit the bell so you get the notification. Hit the like button. Share this because a lot of people need to learn from this. This is going to save a lot of people from getting caught in bad situations. Follow the Sos the Ghost page, my second page. A lot of footage out riding with the homies. And big shout to everybody that's been supporting the Demon's Row clothing. And let's get into it. Now we're going to go from the top of the spectrum from the diamonds shout to all my 99s mms acs scs everybody in the culture we start from the top we start with the diamond the one percent diamond now there's a one percenter diamond and a one percent diamond the one percent diamond means everybody in your club is a one percenter so once you get in the club and you get fully patched everybody that's fully patched with you has a diamond now if you're a one percenter like i am you're in a club where you can be fully patched and not have a diamond you have to earn it so there's all different kind of clubs where some are all one percent and then some have one percenters in the club now there's many other kind of diamonds too if you're new to the culture you want to stay away from any diamond shaped patch i don't care what it says in it i don't care if it's a flag of the country you come from a skull head or whatever stay away from the diamonds and we're going to break down why there's so many variations of diamonds of one percent clubs that you can get caught wearing something that resembles or is someone else's patch because of wish and the stuff like that online so my major thing is if you want to patch up join an mc join a club an official club that has been around the block earn your patches stay slick back that means just a leather vest me personally if i was not in a club i would not wear a leather vest you wouldn't catch me with a leather vest but to each his own you don't want to take a number and put it inside of a diamond a very respected diamond is the 13 diamond there are dominant clubs out here that rock a 13 diamond so if you just see that online that's something that you can't purchase you put that on you're gonna get caught in a bad situation also i would never take a number and put it in like a different number like oh well they got one and they got 13 so i'm gonna put a two i'll be fine now i don't know if there's a club out there somewhere that has a two percent diamond i can't be everywhere you know what i'm saying so don't you know sometimes people jump in the comments and they get so literal you can't know everything that's going on i don't know what's going on in australia right now or in the united kingdom i'm talking about from my personal experience now also the reason why i say stay away from diamonds like you got this diamond right here it has a noose in it all right this could be just because it's not a number 
it's a symbol still there are units in clubs established clubs that they have multiple diamonds you don't want to get caught wearing a ss diamond or a any type of diamond with a logo in it with skulls you don't know what this diamond represents and also the numbers you don't know what they represent so overall what's the overriding theme stay away from diamonds if you're not in a club never put a diamond on that is the most important thing in this culture to stay away from if you want to have a smooth ride and have a good time also there's a lot of people with a fascination with skulls you know the biker thing is skulls a lot of people do the skulls you have to be careful what skull you put on you put on a outlaws you know crossbone you're gonna get caught in a bad situation if you don't know what club is what don't just take that patch and put it on and especially stay away from online purchasing because if you're in a patch store nine out of ten they're not gonna have a one percent clubs patches just sitting there where you could purchase them because they know they know the game they've been pressing them for years but online wish and stuff like that that's where you get caught up in this and also like you know the whole episode i did on chris brown you could check that episode out i'll link it down he had a whole patch set up where it looked just like the hell's angels you don't want to put yourself in a position where you walk around and it's not exactly the same but it looks like somebody's rival so if you're new to the culture like i said there's gonna be people that are gonna still answer like they know this already and all that this is for people that are new to the culture there are a lot of people that don't understand this you're not just born with knowledge of a diamond i hate to tell people but you're not just born with the knowledge of a diamond now also when it comes to patch setups i know a lot of people watch sons of anarchy and they want to you know live by that mode they like the way the cut looks but just taking a three-piece cut i know it's watered down now there are clubs that are 99s that are three piece that are not outlaw and there are outlaw clubs with three piece patches everybody that's running around with a city estate had to sit down with somebody or they're about to go to war with somebody so you got to understand even if it's a side rocker people ask me about side rockers all the time if you're claiming like your city or your town there might be a club out that way that takes that more serious i know people that care more about the city their side rocker than they do the bottom rocker and they go to war over that city of whatever it is so territory is like saying yo listen this is my town so you have to be careful with that if you're new to the culture also to me i don't say that this is like a thing where you have to be careful i mean anything is possible but let's respect the people that serve the country can we stop with the military stuff if you never served in the military you got to give respect to the people that put in that work if you didn't earn any military patch don't put it on your cut and also people wear the lone wolf no club stuff three piece don't do that they have the one piece set up where it's all one i personally believe that if you're a lone wolf why are you wearing something that couples you in with a whole bunch of people with thousands of people if you're wearing a patch setup that makes you look like a whole bunch of other people you might as well join a club because you're posing like you're in a club and and you want that look so if you want to patch up to that level just patch up now a lot of people in the culture already know sons of anarchy mayans you don't you don't wear those type of cuts and jump on a motorcycle and ride out now listen my thing is if you really love the show like that get the t-shirt get a sons of anarchy t-shirt and don't wear it with the three piece on the back wear it where it's on the front you can still represent you like the show i get it it's just a t-shirt once you throw it on the back and you get on a bike now it looks like you representing something you know a lot of people know the show so nine out of ten you're not going to get in the beef but i have been in situations where i've seen brothers i've stopped brothers from saying yo you got to take that off or whatever like i've literally stopped brothers before from doing it like i don't co-sign and, and that i want to give that disclaimer too when i do this i do it to teach i have this fake one that jumps in the comments a lot of times and he basically makes it seem like i'm co-signing you know one percent is running up on people taking their stuff like that's not what i'm about and i'm not telling you that i'm the type of person like if i see somebody and 
They got a funny looking diamond and I know it ain't right. I tell them to cut it off. I'm not like that, but I do know people that do do it. It happens all the time. One percenters do it to other one percenters. One percenters do it to civilians. I've seen it all. It's all possible. So just with a little knowledge, you don't got to get into the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with doing things the right way. And even if you're a knucklehead and you want to go into a territory and slap on a diamond or slap on a diamond with you know a logo in it or something that's your logo or whatever at least you know bare minimum you know we're ready for war and it's going to be a problem sooner or later we're going to bump into somebody is going to be a problem at least you know that hit that like button if you're getting value out of this and just basically stay away from the diamonds there's many other shapes in the world don't get fascinated with trying to follow a trend that a lot of people do people follow too much that's the problem Share this with your homies that's new to the culture and don't understand certain stuff. This will save them from major problems. I'm telling you, I kid you not. I've been doing this for a long time. Trust me, share this, it will help someone. Now let's give light. This week's certified goats goes out to Vic represent my hometown and why he says he loves riding all over the tri-state area his goal is to go from coast to coast and why to california he rides the 2019 harley soft tail low rider vic you are a certified ghost so if you know anybody that's ghost or ghost that material hit me at demons at gmail.com at demons row at sosta ghost underscore on instagram and you could be featured next thank you to everybody that supports the show hit that like button and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail at mc culture like subscribe and comment no yeah we ghosting baby